What's up Creed? Welcome to your Thursday workout. We have an AMRAP by seven minutes and we got four movements. So our eight dumbbell sumo deadlift high pulls following by eight dumbbell swings, eight sit-ups, and then four and four staggered stance good mornings. We'll show what those look like right now. Eight dumbbell sumo deadlift high pulls we'll hold across the many barbell in between our dumbbells there. Imagine we're giants. And we're gonna hold across the middle there. Nice wide stance coming down to about mid shin where a barbell would lie. And then we're driving all the way up explosively from the bottom, getting those hips to extend, those glutes and quads involved a lot there. And a big high pull with the elbows finishing higher than the wrists. Eight dumbbell swings. We'll interlock those fingers around one head of the dumbbell. And we're gonna allow ourselves to get a small swing to start with and then flow right into a big swing, allowing those hips to pop and those legs to snap straight at the top of our rep here. So a lot of glutes as well with this movement and not letting those shoulders dominate, rather the hips dominate that movement, right? Eight sit-ups, so we down on the ground here, we can allow ourselves to use our arms or we can do strict just to get that core a little more isolated uh, for the warm up here. So with strict, cross your hands across your chest and you're coming up until those elbows meet the knees with those arms throwing forwards here, a little bit more momentum can last a little bit longer, which is what we will want when the Metcon comes around because we got a lot of reps there. We have four and four staggered stance, good mornings. All right, so thinking toe to heel, your back leg is your kickstand or balance leg and your front leg is your working leg here. All right, so his feet are separated by his pelvis there, both knees are slightly bent and he's gonna hinge those hips backward, keeping a nice flat spine. He'll feel a stretch in the hamstring and then contract his glutes and his hamstrings to bring himself into an upright position. Just like that, there we go. So Thursday's workout, we have ourselves a lovely little imam of some Olympic lifts and thrusters. So imam by nine minutes, one, two, and three. We'll go three rounds like so. 10 and 10 dumbbell hang cleans, eight and eight dumbbell snatches, and then 12 single dumbbell thrusters. All right, we'll show what those look like in a second. And we have Purple Cobra, all right? 15 minute cap for Purple Cobra. Gotta move fast to get all these done, all right? A lot of reps, 150 reps total for each and all. Double unders or single unders, all right? So if you're doing single unders right here, hit the camera, or down here, you're gonna triple that number, that number, that number, that number, and that number for your single under reps, all right? Those are only for double unders. These are for single unders, 150, 120, 90, 60, and 30. That's just for your jump rope. Your sit-ups and dumbbells, or your sit-up and your dumbbell swings will stay at 50, 40, 30, 20. So don't do 150 reps, please, of your sit-ups or your dumbbell swings. Keep those at 50, 40, 30, all right? So sit-ups and dumbbell swings are the other two movements, obviously, and you'll roll through that and try and get all of those rounds in in less than 15 minutes. Dumbbell hang cleans. We're gonna grab our dumbbell, start with a proper hinge, sliding the hips back, allowing that shoulder to stay over our wrist. We're gonna explode up with a nice shrug and jump and a nice stable landing with those feet. You can hear that stab of the bottom of his shoe in the ground, putting the soles flat to the floor. All right, after he gets 10 reps on the right side, he'll get 10 reps on the left side. Whatever time is left in your minute, he will rest. Then we have dumbbell snatches. These will be from the floor. All right, so you'll point your dumbbell down, have a little angle, kind of like you're pointing a flashlight to the ground, exploding up, finishing all the way overhead. You really can hear that stab of his feet with these, especially because we're creating more power, more explosion, and we want more tension in the catch. When you catch your snatch, you should finish with that arm locked out immediately overhead, just like that. Dumbbell thrusters, we're gonna hold single dumbbell position, all right? So we'll have two hands on each head of the dumbbell there. And then we're gonna do a nice big squat, and we're gonna drive all the way overhead, all right? So trying to get that hip crease to pass the knees there, or at least get to parallel with a comfortable position. And then we're driving all the way overhead. 12 reps in a minute, we should have probably the most rest time there on that one, all right? Purple Cobra coming into the mix, it's a fun one. 50 double unders, 50 sit-ups, 50 dumbbell swings, 40, 40, 40, 30, 30, 30, 20, 20, 20, 10, 10, 10, and you're done. All right, so it gets faster and faster throughout the rounds. Our double unders or single unders, you can do that without a rope if you'd like to. All right, we're just gonna mimic having a ghost rope in our hands, all right? So pretending to have those wrists moving in small circles, those elbows in tight, and we're getting little hops in between every rep, all right? If you do have a jump rope, spectacular. Try and hit some single unders and challenge yourself to get some double unders if you can. Sit-ups, we showed those in the warm-up, and then dumbbell swings, we also showed those in the warm-up there as well, so we are good to go. Good luck.